In today's video, we are unboxing two new items that I have got from Saint Laurent. Now, I purchased both of these prior to the previous price increase that happened a few weeks ago. I have a bag here and a small leather good, and I can't wait to see what you think. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you, my friend, are in exactly the right place because we get it. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. A double YSL unboxing. I have to admit, uh, this unboxing wasn't really planned. I've been sat on the fence about both of these items for, I would say, a good maybe like few months now. And with the recent price increase that just happened, I panic purchased. Basically, to summarize, I purchased the day before the price increase actually happened. If you have not seen the price increases and want to know the before and after prices, I will pop a link down below to the blog post on the Handbagholic website where I have taken all the before and after prices of some of the main styles of bags from Saint Laurent so you can see which ones have been impacted. I am quite glad that I panic purchased because the particular bag that I'm going to unbox with you in this video today went up 10%. To shop this video really easily I will pop links in the description box down below to what I am wearing today. This is a Zimmerman play suit which I absolutely love. Perfect for summer, it's quite warm here in the UK and also to both of the Saint Laurent items that I'm now going to unbox with you. A quick change of scene. Truth be told guys I completely forgot to record this part of the video. Um, I recently did a shopping vlog um, at Bista Village, the designer outlet here in the UK. The stock was incredible, and I promised at the end of that video that I would show you what I got because I picked up some amazing bargains. So let me show you what I got at Bista, and then we will commence the YSL unboxings. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much out here that is worth showing you. Um, I got... A piece that I have wanted for so, so long from Reese. <sighs> Back on the hanger, let's hope it stays on the hanger now. Um, this is a very long maxi skirt. Now it is like a linen-y kind of fabric, so it is very creased. I need to give this an iron, but it also has a tie waist. This is like a high waist skirt. I remember seeing this on the website and I really, really wanted it. I believe it was around 200 pounds, but it sold out. But this one was 118 pounds. Oh, sorry, UK size four. I also got an extra 10% VIP discount on this. So I think it was like 104 pounds. So it's still quite an investment, but this is a very uh, hefty kind of piece. I love it. Because this is so high waist, it needs to be worn with a crop top. Then I got five pieces from All Saints. There was a sample sale on All Saints, guys. Um, I think this was actually for staff only. I'm not exactly sure how we managed to get into it. Um, it wasn't signposted, it wasn't in the store, but all the dresses were 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Um, I'm not sure of the names of the dresses, but I picked up this again. All these need an iron. This beautiful dress here. It's in like a kind of like an ice blue, which is really gorgeous. It's got this like ruched waist on it. Um, there's no price on this one. It just was 25 pounds. Then there is this gorgeous white dress. I feel like I've seen this on the website. It has a tie waist here. So you tie it up and it has all these beautiful like silver beads all over it. This one actually has a price tag. So this was 228 pounds um, and I paid 25 pounds for this. What an incredible bargain. It's gonna look perfect on my holidays. Then we have this longer dress here. Again, very floaty. Uh, it is missing. I think it's meant to have like a tie waist around here, but I might just steal the one from this dress and put it onto this one. A uh, really nice kind of gray print here. This one again, has got its price on it. This one was 199, reduced to 139. And obviously I paid 25 pounds for it, which is such, such a bargain. This dress though, probably has to be the biggest bargain of all. Uh, so this is fully beaded, guys, look at this. It's absolutely stunning V-neck. It's got like zips on the sleeves. And this one, look at this, this one was, 398 pounds down to 278. I paid I paid 15 pounds for this one. Uh, it was 25, but it has got some beads missing and some kind of threads sticking out. Um, you can't tell too much, but you definitely there are definitely spots on it that are kind of 
uh, balding, you can see some of the like stitching has come loose there and some of the beads. So the lady actually, I didn't ask, she literally reduced it to 15 pounds. 15 pounds guys, what a bargain. And then this is the last one. I think this was a sample piece because it still even has pins inside. I think they were trying something out, um, but it's like a black uh, t-shirt dress. There is no label or anything in this one. And then it's got this fabric all the way down. I didn't get anything like majorly designer here. I have ordered something that I regretted not buying when I was at Vista, which will be arriving soon. Um, but yeah, just some really gorgeous pieces of clothing. Just goes to show you can get some really nice high street pieces at incredible prices. Um, I genuinely cannot wait to get wearing some of this stuff. Let's start with the small leather good that I've got here. Now I'm pretty upset actually because this was meant to be a triple unboxing. There is another bag that I ordered um, and it would have been part of this video but unfortunately it was the YSL Cassandra bag. I've been looking at this for absolutely ages. Um, I ordered the black one with gold hardware. When it showed up it was honestly disgusting. Um, I don't know what happened. It basically, I think it was an X display bag. I took a really quick video so you could see the condition. You cannot see the condition like very well on camera. Honestly, the inside of the bag was just completely gross. Like some of the leather was actually damaged. There was like makeup marks. There was a tag in the back pocket, which kind of suggested it was a uh, X display model. And also the like hardware on the front was kind of the gold came off on the corners of the YSL. The handles weren't like great, like they were kind of cracked where the glazing was. Um, so I instantly sent it back. So it's not part of this video, but I thought I would point that out. Um, it came straight from Saint Laurent. So I'm, yeah, a little bit frustrated that that happened because I think I would have kept the bag if it had have been in perfect condition. I mean, I was ordering a brand new bag. Why didn't I get a brand new bag? Anyway, ran over for that one. This was meant to be a triple unboxing, um, but it's not anymore. I've sent that one back. It has gone. Um, I do think I will still get a Cassandra bag, but I think I might go for a neutral colour now anyway, so maybe it's worked out for the best. But I definitely think I'll be heading into store so that I can double check the bag that I'm actually getting very let down but everything else that I've got here is brand new and I'm really happy with the condition. So with no further ado let's take a look at this Saint Laurent small leather good. So it comes in this cute little box here and then you've got the Saint Laurent dust bag. Just pop that down here. You've also got like um, a few other bits like the usual Saint Laurent kind of envelope with the little cards in there. Here we go guys, I have been debating a YSL card holder for quite some time. So I went with the black, this is in the grained leather. Uh, figured this would be in my bag and it's really hard wearing, it's not gonna scratch. We've got the gold YSL on the front. Now I do think this will scratch but it's quite small so I'm not too worried. I paid a little bit more money to get the one with the zipper across the top. I was just going to get the normal card holder that had no zip on the top, but I was like, I can imagine myself using this a lot and I would really like the option to be able to take coins, change and like cash with me if I want to, uh, when I'm spending this much money and I know I'm going to be using it for quite a long time. That extra option just for me seemed like a no brainer. So let me just show you quickly. You got the zipper across the top, now on the back here, uh, you have your card slots. Let me just, this is an example card. You can see them all there. So you one, two, three, four, five card slots. You can double the cards up as well. But I mean, for me, like credit card, ID, bank card, something like that. I don't think I'd actually need any more slots than that. Then inside, it's quite a nice sized pouch in there. You've got Saint Laurent on the back, just there. And inside of here, I generally put uh, some notes, some coins if I want any cash. And of course, you can still fit, just to demonstrate, like this is uh, an example card, you can still fit cards inside this part of the card holder as well. So I think it's great because you can take more cards than is here. You can double up the cards and you can use them inside. And it kind of concertinas out here. So it does go a bit wider if you want to kind of pack it out with some stuff. 
Just looking at the receipt here, I definitely got this at the right time. Um, I did get an extra 10% off with how I ordered this as well. Um, so I paid uh, £180 for this. Black, gold, it's just gonna go with everything. Um, and now I believe this retails at £265. So, you know, there's a good £85 increase on this from what I paid for it. So really glad that I got it. Do you know what? Price increases are one of these things. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Things aren't going to be cheaper than what they are right now. So if there is something that you love, uh, definitely just order them as soon as you can if you are definitely going down the brand new route because we never know when the next price increase will be. If you don't want to miss out on a price increase update or notification, you can follow me over on Instagram. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. Um, as soon as I get word that there's a Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Saint Laurent, Gucci price increase, I do share it on my stories. And then I do document the before and after prices as well. I share them over there and I also create before and after price blogs on the Handbagholic site. Now onto the bag. Um, there's so many YSL bags that I really, really love. Um, one of them in particular actually is the YSL Lulu bag. Um, this is probably actually one of my favorite bags from Saint Laurent right now. Um, I got this one uh, quite a while before the price increase and I got mine in the cinnamon suede with gold hardware which I love, this is the small size. I have done like a full review here on this channel. I was very tempted to order another one of these in the vintage Blanc, which is the white color, um, the leather version with gold hardware. Yeah, I don't know, that one That one had quite a big increase as well, like the Lulu has been quite badly affected by the last price increase. But I decided with the card holder, the bag that I'm about to show you, and the Cassandra bag, because that was meant to be in my collection right now, I wasn't so, so sure if I wanted another Lulu bag. So I am gonna go to London, see one again, see whether I definitely want one, and then maybe make that purchase. Then onto the one that I did actually order, Oh my gosh, I have been debating this bag for the longest time. As when it first came out from Saint Laurent, which was I think a couple of years ago now, I remember, I believe it was Molly May had one of these bags and she took it on holiday with her. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a really great beach bag. But I was never completely in love with the color options. Then this one came out very recently. It was a, um, you had to kind of pre-order it when I checked the site. I did a video on some of the latest YSL bags. I'll link it up here. It was featured in that video. And I said in that video, I am loving this colorway. And I know that this is a popular colorway because I've seen a couple of unboxings and people say if they were going for a particular tote bag, they would go for this one. So let's take a look. It did come in a big box and then uh, we've got the dust bag here. Here we go, guys. This is the Rive Gorge tote bag in the color sea salt. This is the small size version of the tote. What do we think? Um, the neutral colors on this are absolutely stunning. So the handles are kind of actually like, I would say like a beigey gray. The hardware on this one is gold. A lot of the other ones have silver hardware, but I'm a gold hardware kind of girl. Uh, these are like poppers, which you can shut. And then you have the Reeve Gorge, which is actually embroidered on there with stitching and Saint Laurent there. It's kind of a, I'd say like a brown taupe color with a light creamy color running through the bag. And then around the edges is like a darker color. On the sides, you've got the, like a linen fabric here, which does kind of crease actually. And then the back of the bag is plain. Now to say this is a small tote bag, I would actually say, uh, let me try and move back a bit more here, I would actually say this is quite a large bag. So I knew that I didn't want the large size because it would be far too big. I think the small size is uh, still really, really big. You can get all your essentials in here and more. I'm super sure of that. I will do a full review on the channel very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe if you would like to see more of the Reeve Gorge Toe. I will style it with different outfits, show you what fits inside, just everything that you need to know before you decide to purchase this. I panic purchased this. Um, it did go up 10%. So I think I paid, paid £975 um, and it is now £1,055. So around a 10% increase. Uh, 
$1,550. That is what this now retails for. What do you think to my two latest Saint Laurent purchases then? The card holder I love. I know I'm just going to use it so, so much. I do have a small zippy coin purse from Louis Vuitton, but I find I actually carry way too much than I actually need. All I need is a few cards, maybe a bit of change, and it frees up so much room in my smaller bags, and it just makes my bags a lot less heavier. So I'm loving this one. Do not regret it at all. Maybe would like to add some more colours, but I think for now, I know the black and gold will pretty much go with most of my bags. And then the Reeve Gorge tote, this is so summery. This is literally going to be perfect for days at the pool, beaches, holidays. I do have quite a few tote bags already, so I would love to get your thoughts on this one. Definitely by far my favourite version of the Reeve Gorge tote that I have ever seen. If you are debating it, I do recommend. If you are liking the colourway, I will pop links to both of these items and the Cassandra bag down below. Very sad about the whole Cassandra bag situation. Very let down by Saint Laurent. They sent me an X display bag, like what the hell? Um, but yeah, I might get a neutral color of the Cassandra bag in the near future. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you. And over here, the 13 cheapest YSL bags that you can buy right now. Enjoy.